Now, when American women get pregnant, the government helps them stay single, work, and have an abortion. When a migrant gets pregnant, the government helps them cross the border, have the baby, get married, don't work, and put their hand out. Okay, hold on. You guys, we got to talk about this whole migrant crisis that is going on right now in this video. And before I go into this video, let me just be very clear that this is not about being anti-immigration. So, but when you set aside labels, all the labeling, from a very basic level, we have a limited amount of resources. And contrary to what everyone may think, that yes, we do print money, but that does not mean we have an unlimited amount of money. Yes, we are the land of the free, However, a lot of things just are not free here, okay? And so from a very basic level, if you are giving over and over, over here, then how does that impact things over here? You know, so how is your family, your future generations impacted? How are the people who are being completely squeezed right now? How do they feel right now about the ease and access of financial assistance? for migrants right now because for you no one is coming to your aid if you need health insurance if you need a house guess what they don't even exist right now because of our housing shortage if your kid can barely read because your school district sucks who cares at this point but migrants are receiving a ton of resources and fast and so what he is saying in that clip you know basically what he's saying in that clip is why are things so inconsistent? You know, because we could do a quick history lesson that American families, specifically black families, have been, you know, incentivized to break up their families. And so we are still seeing the ramifications till this day, you know, through home ownership rates, through the wealth gap, through behavior. You know, what's going on right now with the migrant crisis is like, no. We have to keep families together. This is a humanitarian thing. Like I said, I don't know if I said this already, but 40% of kids can't even read in America on a basic level. So humanitarian, probably the kid up, your, up the street probably doesn't even get a, a hot cooked meal at night. And so I'm sure you guys are aware of this, that thousands of people have been crossing the border. And so they coordinated buses to take migrants to, to the sanctuary states like New York, Illinois, Colorado. And a sanctuary state is one that won't cooperate with the federal government in regards to your status. And so in this video, we're going to hone in on New York because I will say New York has offered a ton of resources. And right now they're giving a pilot program where they're receiving $13 a day for food. If you times that by a family of four, that's over $1,000 in cash on a prepaid credit card. Now, I could only imagine that there's someone out there right now who could use that the extra thousand dollars per month. And so in 2023, approximately 10,000 migrants per month have settled in New York and there's been over 214 shelters created. There's 15 hotels available for housing. Now, let me be very precise because only families can stay at the hotels. ¿Y por cuánto tiempo han estado quedándose aquí en otro hotel? Llegué, llegué en julio. ¿Cuántos meses es eso? Como siete meses. ¿Y han tenido que pagar alquimiento? No, no, no. Nada. No he pagado nada. ¿Es, es 100% gratis? Sí, sí. ¿Y le dan almuerzo, desayuno? Sí. No sí, le dan. Como... Niños, personales, no dan pañales, lo que necesiten ellos. ¿Y ahí en el hotel hacen limpieza de las sí, cuartos? Sí, 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 hacen. Sí, todos los días hacen limpieza, cambian las sábanas, hacen aseo. ¿Todos los días hacen eso? Sí, sí todos los todos. días. ¿Han podido poder conseguir trabajo ustedes? No. No, no, no. Yo no. Si ustedes tuvieran un problema de medicina, ¿cómo podrían recibir ayuda con eso? Bueno, eh, con una tarjeta, la, la del seguro de Med Medicare. Ok. I'm going to let that, I'm going to let you let that sink in for right now. But what I've been thinking, like, are American families prioritized? Because financial assistance, from what I'm assuming, is typically a process that will take you to hell and back. 
to obtain an approval. And so, you know, I read that 30% of veterans were denied benefits and 60% of those denials were errors. So it's like you got to submit, deny, resubmit, revise, resubmit again. (laughs) And so this is another prime example of why are things so inconsistent? The ease, the access to resources. And so if you're not staying at a hotel, you're staying at a kid's school. Kids should not be used. Uh, our uh, the school should not be used. It's a sectionary for the learning. Our kids are supposed to be here feeling safe and be able to learn. So let me show you guys a clip real quick. Metal detectors, oh, right? Yeah. So Absolutely. we have no idea what these people might bring to we the school no and what's what inside the carrying. school. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. I can be humored easily, and like, there's nothing funny about this whole situation, but. First off, I when I saw this girl, I'm like, look, for, look at this bozo. You don't even need to be a parent to understand. The last thing you need to do is disrupt the stability, the routine, the consistency for kids, okay? Because let's be real, that school sometimes is the one safe place for kids. And so even for the parents, think about this. Your kid has to do remote, remote learning, which remote learning is no joke because especially for the younger kids, it really, the work really falls on the parents. And I want to say for the educators who care and who do a good job, from what I understand, they don't like remote learning either. And so add to the fact, you know, you're on your way out the door for work and your second grader has to do remote learning because people are sleeping in their school. Like what the f- is happening right now? And so hotels schools and even makeshift shelters with bathrooms and heating are being created and occupied but a 20 million dollar shelter in brooklyn isn't good enough either migrant mother saying quote it's too far for them to get to their studies they go to school on 59th street in manhattan one of several migrant families who arrived sunday at the floyd bennett field tent facility in brooklyn unwilling to stay here i am very grateful for everything that they've given us she says but we can't stay here i have four kids with asthma it's too far they didn't tell us anything it's a new facility but we never thought it was here like what the is she talking about you guys think about this when i had my one of my first jobs after college or even years ago even for the people right now like guess what lady you know how long my commute was <laughs> how long my commute to work was back in the day it's called it's something called doing what you have to do and so even with a ton of free resources people just can't be happy you know fights are breaking out with police in the shelters Illegal shelters are popping up for migrants, which, eh, I mean, if you're from a country and you know somebody from your country is coming here and you want to, eh, it's your house, though, okay? It's your house. But everything else, I mean, I, I'm i just a little confused. And, you know, I wish America as a whole would solve America's problems versus trying to solve everyone else's problems. And... I can't help myself, even when you think about the fights that are breaking out, the media would have immediately called those people thugs if they were a different group of people. Um, So I think I've said enough in this video. It can be difficult to have logical conversations about this because so many things are involved. So that's what I have for today's video. I wanna know, what do you guys think about this? Drop me some comments below. And like always, you guys know I'm your favorite lender. If you know anyone who's looking to purchase or refinance, they need a mortgage, whether it's full income doc, no income doc, I'm ready to lend in 48 states. But until next time, 